going on guys? Dan here, DS Speed Shop. Today we're gonna do a bit of myth busting. So I had painted this car, well parts of this car, I was, I was trying to find some paint colors. Uh, I don't like any of these colors. So what I ended up using was Rust-Oleum brand, off the shelf, thinned down with a little bit of hardener in it. Uh, I was trying to cheap out and, and see what was gonna happen instead of using proper automotive paint. The comments lit up with, it's gonna be a pain of sand, any other paint over it's gonna be a nightmare, it's, it's just bad, 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 you don't wanna do it. And I've heard that before, but I thought putting harder in there would make my life a lot easier. So here were my thoughts today. Um, I wanted to try sanding it a little bit, so I ran just a little bit of this down, and it didn't plug up sandpaper, 80 grit sandpaper, I was happy. Oh, and if you've uh, been here for a while, check that out, long board. I've had one for a long time. I've just never had the compressor to run it. Now I do. But anyway, what I was thinking about doing, I had already started kind of a video and I was going to start working on it, doing a little bit of body work. As you can see, the car's kind of stripped. We'll maybe sprinkle some of that in after. But I really wanted to scuff this down, see what it was going to be like, and then I want to put a coat of high build primer on it instead of trying to work with this and see if it mangles the primer on it. Because if the primer sticks to it, and then I can level out the primer put another coat of primer on after, block it, and then paint it, really shouldn't be an issue. People are saying this will come off in sheets and stuff like that, but honestly, I, I sand it fine. So I don't know. I mean, it is Rust-Oleum paint on Rust-Oleum primer. We have trim clad here, but same stuff, because I love that. So we'll see what happens. At the end of the day, this is a pretty cheap car. I mean, it's a makeshift uh, convertible, nothing too serious. So if it all goes to hell, so be it. Originally when I painted it, I thought I wouldn't like the color. If that's the case, it's uh, it's just another coat of primer is the way I saw it because it's like metal rust paint. So I'm going to get set up. I'm going to pull the bumpers, pull all this kind of stuff off. We'll get this sanded down real quick. We'll mix some primer up and we'll see what happens. I'm expecting it to go bleh right away because that's what I said it was going to happen. So we got some sanding done. Um, honestly, it, it sanded fine. You can see the, the red dust on the ground there. Here are, uh, I ended up using just two strips of uh, 80 grit. And I mean, I don't know, it didn't, it didn't really uh, load up too much. I thought it sanded fine. I will say the paint felt harder when you're sanding it. Um, I don't know if that's the way I mixed it or just the way it is. It reminded me of uh, sanding like a high grade, like an Ever Evercoat body filler as opposed to like a Bondo brand. They both get the job done, but Bondo is just so hard. You really got to put some muscle into it. And that's what this felt like. So we got her all scuffed down. I did mask it. I'm going to wipe it all down. I did start on this side and I was going to go with this, but I thought, you know what? <laughs> if this side screws up, well, I don't really want two screw ups on my, hand, on my hands. So I, this has to be sanded and taped anyways. So if I do it now or tomorrow or whatever, it's fine. Same deal, sanded, I mean, seems like it's coming off fine. I mean, it's turning into a nice little powder and whatnot, not galling up the, the sandpaper or nothing like that. It's just kind of dust and whatnot. So I think it's fine. So I'm gonna wipe that down. I'm gonna go mix up some primer. We're not gonna need much, just probably one, uh, one gunful. Get the compressor charged up and we'll lay it down and see what happens. Just like a real quick test here. I'm, uh, I'm excited to see. I haven't seen anything crazy yet. Seems like normal. Hope for the best. So we've got the gun all loaded up. We got everything kind of, uh, I guess, ready to go. So we'll see how this works out. My biggest fear is I guess the paint will just immediately wrinkle up once the solvent and stuff like that kind of hits it, but uh, I got a bit of a leak. But it's also nice enough that we have the doors open a little bit, so it's uh, ventilated. See what happens. So we're putting a fair bit on. 
do one panel because it all goes to hell. No point wasting. I don't know. Seems to go on fine. Didn't go all gibbled. These are all technical paint terms I'm using, so uh, let's keep blasting. problems. So either I missed busted it or I fluked out. There's some other concern I don't know about yet. I'm really hoping it was just one of those things where it's just not the proper product to use. But you can still do it. But hey, there's a lot of not proper things I do with this hot rod. Or all of them in general I guess. I don't know. Damn it. Seems fine to me. We'll let it uh, dry off a little bit. We'll put another coat or two on. So one coat down. Uh, it laid down like normal. I mean, I don't know. This stuff is thick. It has a bit of a texture to it, but no issues. Uh, hopefully you guys know what I'm talking about, like when the paint goes all gibbled, like it, like it curls up. Didn't do any of that. It went on nice and easy. It's just one... Uh, heavy coat. It's still a little wet at the front there. We got to deal with that. I don't know. Again, I think people are saying I was worried about that with the, the paints not mixing well and having a problem. And now if this primer goes on, it's happy. Then we're painting over this primer. I know I'm good. The other thing they're saying is the trim cloud, I guess, can come off in sheets. If it doesn't bond well. Well, I mean, I had no problem. I sanded the whole thing. It seemed like it came out fine scuffed up so hopefully this primer adheres to the paint that's the only that's the last test and we'll find that out <clears throat> on a future video uh or maybe we can do it tomorrow once it hardens up and just make sure when we sand the primer it comes off real nice that's actually a good last test so we'll uh we'll let this flash off we'll put one more coat on we'll unmask it it's supposed to be at least two hours of uh, dry time before you can work with this primer we'll give it right till tomorrow and then uh, give it a quick scuff test it passes all those i'm gonna call it busted Hopefully I didn't speak too soon. Okay, so we're uh, uh, probably 15, 20 minutes down the road here. The uh, primer dried up nice. I mean, the back here is where it's all kind of feathered in. Stuck good, I got no issues. So let's uh, put a second coat on. And uh, color a night. Well, we'll unmask it because we gotta see how cool it looks, right? My paint gun, the lid is leaking. Probably due to, uh, well, lack of maintenance and cleaning, but still. In today's world, it wasn't my fault. It's all dried up. Well, ish. Unmasking's the best part. You gotta risk it on the on the soft paint still. But it's drying, so obviously it's uh, fine. Uh oh, we're quick. Oh, look at that skill. I didn't even get anything on it. So we'll call it a night. Back at her tomorrow. I think it's gonna be fine. Those are my gut feelings slash mostly just my hope because if it's not fine, it's gonna be a headache for me and I don't want to deal with that. So see you after work tomorrow. Uh, next day, just come from work. Panels I mean, dry. There's no issues there. It seemed fine. Nothing happened overnight. So we got a little 80 grit. I'm not going to sand right through it. We're just going to kind of scuff it up because, uh, well, we're going to start loading this thing full of filler. Let's just see if it sands normal. Yeah. Seems good to me. Not, not lifting. Everybody was kind of panicked about and stuff. I don't know. Filler dried. No different than working on the Nomad as far as I'm concerned. 
So I think I'm going to end up, well, I'm going to obviously scuff up the whole panel and it's kind of ready for filler. And realistically, what I should do is I should, I should use a block and I'll find all the little low spots. I'll mark them, give them a quick scuff, and then I can filler it right away because there's a few I can see. The panel looks, uh, they look a lot straighter with the uh, flat primer on it versus the shiny red paint that was on it. So here you go. I'm going to call it busted. At least as far as I know. This is going to work fine. This is what I'm going to do. Hopefully it's not too wrong. If you guys think I'm dead wrong, let me know in the comments. But uh, crisis averted. Paint your cover trim plan. If you don't like it, scuff it. Paint something else. Or uh, rust-oleum, I should say. Make sure you use a hardener. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.